Good afternoon, man. Really important weekend for us here um, as we lay some foundational things uh, for these guys individually and collectively. Um, continuing the getting to know process in some instances, um, getting to know them, introducing uh, ourselves to them, how we do business, the things that are expected. Um, but also it's a trial opportunity for many men. And so um, we're multitasking here. Um, it's important that we create an environment where they get an opportunity to, to learn and, and show some skills and be evaluated. Um, you know, it's an opportunity for us to, to give and receive some information, to see how they learn, uh, to work on some presentational things from a coaching collective perspective. And so um, there's a lot of little things um, that are getting done that make this an important weekend. Um, it's just fun to spend time with them. We uh, had a dinner last night and um, not necessarily football, but just getting to know one another further, um, introducing them to Akershire Stadium and things of that nature. And, and so that's just kind of reflective of some of the introductory things that we're doing and, and people that we're having an opportunity to expose them to in places, uh, not only within our organization, but around town. Um, I'll pause and open it up for questions. Mike, will you uh, bring the tryout guys in? I know it's partly to fill out a roster here, but is there something you specifically look for in this limited practice to be able to maybe catch on here? I think the thing that you look for when you're talking about a tryout guy is the things that you can't coach, um, the pedigree-related things, the things that they bring. Um, and if it's above the line, meaning if it's at a professional level, then you consider them. I think that's where we start first. And so you look at movement, um, speed, body control, uh, the ability to drop their weight, change of direction, things of that nature um, per their positions. And so really it's a lot of pedigree related things from a evaluation standpoint. Talking about tryouts, you have a number of HBCU guys. I know Omar was at their combine. Was that a specific focus or just the way it turned out? Just general business for us. There were a lot of quality players that got his attention and our attention and want to take, take a further look in some instances and maybe do some business in some instances. Right, it seemed like uh, one of the strengths of your class, you just mentioned how they learn was one thing you brought up. One of the strengths of your draft class is your versatility within the group, guys that can play multiple positions if need be. Um, how are you finding that class is picking up, assimilating from that aspect, learning multiple things if you need to? We're not even there yet to be honest with you. Um, there'll be primary jobs and roles and um, they got to establish themselves in that area first and then we add to it. And on an introductory weekend like this, it's just not a lot of latitude for, for some of that. And so it's more establishing a home base and working from there. A couple of years ago, you were real active with the, one of the spring leagues, football leagues. This year, you have a couple of guys from the XFL. What, what, what goes in that evaluation? We just utilize all the ball at our disposal in an effort to acquire talent. And, um, you know, we expect, uh, we respect um, what those leagues are trying to get done in, in terms of exposing and preparing guys and developing them. And so we just want to, um, you know, do our part in the ecosystem, if you will. What made uh, Cam Morgan uh, an attractive player in the undrafted free agent process? Um, he's a guy that's played a lot. He's a six-year guy. Um, he's, he's got some leadership and tangible qualities. Uh, he's been, been highly productive within that program. And so... You know, his resume is pretty extensive for a guy in that position. When you go to a dinner, like you said last night, I assume you got all these new guys, what's it like their interaction with you? Are they are they kind of sta not standoffish, but are they feel feel fearful or anything? I mean, what how do they treat you in terms of just interacting with you? You know, it's you know, it's different per guy. I, I don't know that you um, that you can have a cookie cutter response to that. I just think it's personality related. And that's what those evenings are about, getting to know people and, and, and who they are and how they are. Kirby Smart talked about Broderick Jones before the draft and talked about his enthusiasm to be coached and his willingness and excitement to work with the coach to get better. What's your first impression of that part of him as he's approached this? I would agree with that, but you know, I think that could be reflective of everybody in a introductory <laughs> uh, minicamp weekend like this. Man, if somebody's a little dull in, in this setting, man, that's, that's probably a problem. More. Have you been able to glean anything from a guy like Corey Trice who fell to the seventh round? Uh, you know, you might not see much of him. Hadn't done enough, enough yet to to probably appropriately answer that. What, like you you seen, uh, what have you seen from the two quarterbacks that were here? Not a lot. Um, we hadn't done a lot. Um, they've been attentive and professional. 
Um, and hopefully we'll get an opportunity to see some more over the next two days. Uh, but just hadn't had a large enough sample size to, to paint with a broad brush at this juncture. You had a line start on the other day. I know these are bigger corners that you got here. Are you looking for a slot from this group or maybe externally still at this point? No, we're comfortable with the collective that we have in that space. All right. Thank Thanks. You.